So no, it's not my first time. I was uh, visiting Provence uh, already for a couple of times and I had a um, couple of concerts in this region. One was in uh, Nice Opera and um, uh, clo yeah, close to here. And um, I love the, the place very much. It's beautiful, beautiful nature. And during the pandemic, it happened that I, I, I spent here almost uh, two months, one and a half month. I was writing new music, uh, 15 kilometers from Aix-en-Provence. So I know the place very much, uh, quite quite much, and I love it very much. And I, this is why I'm excited, particularly to to, to have a concert in this concert hall, which I was. Every time I was going to Aix en Provence, I was going through this building, and I thought, oh, wow, this is beautiful. So yeah, th this will be a joyous day for me to go on stage on this hall. In this concert on October second, and uh, we will perform. A program of recompositions of classical music, of Baroque music. We will go through minimalism of Philip Glass to uh, post-minimalism music of my own. And um, I think it's very exciting that we will perform not the original versions of Four Seasons of Vivaldi and Bach cello suites, but the recompositions. They were done by Max Richter, British composer, and Peter Gregson. Uh, I love how Max Richter expressed himself explaining this piece, the, why he recomposed. He told that uh, we have four seasons of Antonio Vivaldi almost everywhere. It, we hear it so much and so a lot that uh, uh, even if we call to some big company and uh, we, we ask, for, you know, the telephone is on hold, we probably in the background we are listening to you know, something like that. So we know this music very well, but in the sense when we have it so much and everywhere, we lose the attention and we are not so attentive to details and we lose the ability to listen it very honestly and deeply. So he wanted to, to give a f fresh new approach to that music, you know? So basically when you listen Four Seasons Recomposed by Max Richter, you absolutely recognize the Antonia Vivaldi because it's, it's, it sounds in a way as an original, but with the touch of 21st century. And the same, um, I think, uh, fits to Peter Gregson when he recomposed uh, Bach cello suites. It will be performed by fantastic um, Slovakian uh, double bass player Roman Patko as a soloist. Um, this music is also recognizable, but it's. Um, I, I would like to also add that this music was created very gently, and it's you can feel the respect to the Baroque, but also with the uh, with the taste of 21st uh, century. So this is the classical part of the concert, and then we will have uh, the famous second movement of the first violin concerto of Philip Glass, which is. Uh, regarded as one of the best violin concertos ever written, especially in the modern era. And the second movement is, is beautiful, is, is melodic, it's, it, it's, it's quite a long, but it takes you in the music and brings you somewhere else. And then also my own compositions, this is more of a post-minimalism, uh, I believe inspired by not only by classical music, because I'm classically trained musician and I was raised, born and raised in the classical, uh, in the music of classical musicians, family of classical musicians, sorry. Um, but I also was always inspired by modern era and more popular cultures. And uh, so I think in my music you can find uh, also taste of that. So basically, it's a classical music concert, you know, classical orchestra and solace, but with a modern uh, taste into it. Yes, so also this concert is exciting because we not very often we have two solace, you know, we have uh, orchestra on stage, we have uh, ensemble as a solace, we have solace, the double bass virtuoso Roman Patkola, also uh, living composer who conducts his own music and uh, so it's quite a lot of everything the lithuanian chamber orchestra is probably the best known lithuanian and um, orchestra ensemble uh, touring uh, musicians in our country uh, they they give a lot of concerts every year and, uh, an ensemble of uh, national philharmonic of lithuania and this will be for me 
only maybe a second time that we work together with the Lithuanian Chamber Orchestra. But the new Ida Chamber Orchestra, Nico, or otherwise you can say Nico Ensemble, it's a group that I started um, in back in 2006. Uh, I, I, I started this group with the intention to bring um, classical music to more youthful audiences, uh, to find a new approach of presenting this music and also to perform my, perform my own music. So with Nico we also give around 50 concerts every year all over the Europe, also in Asia and United States. We just get back from Carnegie Hall in, uh, in New York and um, we gave quite a few concerts already in this region and in, uh, in Provence before, but it will be first time for us having concerts here. So, so Nico Ensemble and Lithuanian Chamber Orchestra. To conduct my own music is in a way difficult and in a way also easier than just to listen. It's a very different situation to be in the concert hall and listen while another conductor is performing your music. It can be also very uh, intense because in a way when you are just a listener you don't control anything, you know. And I used to control because I, I conduct a lot of and I perform uh, quite a lot. Uh, so when I do it myself, in a way I feel calmer. So it's, it's, it's strange because you would think that being on stage is um, intense, very intense and, and can be nervous, but for me, I feel really good on stage, so therefore I, I love when I have the opportunity to conduct my own music. But also, when I go on stage, for example, and I will do it on October 2nd here, I conduct Richter or Gregson or Glass or my music. For me, it's the same because at that moment you have uh, different tasks. You want to present this music in a way that it would touch the audiences, you know, and uh, I don't feel, I don't think actually that it's my music, uh, it, it, it disappears somewhere, it's just music that I believe in, that I love in that moment and I want to give it to the audience. So we will hear a couple of different uh, my pieces. One is, uh, for example, Never Ignore the Cosmic Ocean. Uh, it's the piece that was originally written for a symphony orchestra and it was premiered in Berlin Concert House almost yeah, more than 10 years ago. Uh, it it become as a, my, uh, you know, flag composition. It's, it's probably best known of my work. Uh, and this will be, um, quite a new version because we will perform it with the chamber orchestra but also with Nico as a soloist in, in front. Uh, it's a very, it was also inspired by more popular cultures but mixed with a very very classical sound and approach so um, you know it's um, every piece of, is a very different uh, journey for me. We will also be hearing uh, my violin concerto uh, and uh, this was written back in 2018, premiered also in Germany, uh, written for uh, David Nebel, the very uh, famous uh, new violinist, young violinist. Uh, it will be performed, solo parts will be performed uh, by three Nico soloists, uh, one movement one, second another, and you know, it, differently, it's, it's also a new approach for, uh, to the piece, uh, yeah. I think I uh, really enjoy, I wait this concert very much because we will have a lot of friends here. So one is uh, my friendship with the composer Peter Gregson, who recomposed the cello suites. Uh, it's always a pleasure to perform, perform his own music. Um, another friendship that is very important and deep for me is with the double bassist uh, Roman Patkolo, who is uh, I think really the best uh, double bass performer, classical performer of double bass in the world. I love him very much. We had a lot of uh, collaboration in the past and uh, you know, it's nice when concerts bring us together because usually we don't have much opportunities, you know, to meet and spend time together. We have concerts in different regions of, of Europe or in the, you know, the world. So I, I, I think this is also what audience feels when the concert hall, when the stage 
is full of friendship and natural friendship and friends who perform music together and enjoy doing that together. Also, my own ensemble, Nico, which is as a family for me after, you know, 18 years playing together. So this is exciting for us, for the performers. And uh, I think and I believe that the audience will feel it, this energy and this vibration of uh, classical, but uh, friendly to the listener, you know, not something in, because classical mixed with contemporary is something uh, sometimes creates an idea that it's for a special audience, uh, you know, that's very difficult to understand. But in this case, all of this music, it's inspired by classical, it's um, post-minimalistic or minimalistic, it's beautiful and it's resonating with the hearts of the audiences. So I really think this combined with our friendship on stage, with this festive atmosphere, will be really joyous moment. I would also like to add that this uh, is a part of the uh, Lithuanian season in France. There will be a lot of events uh, held in France in this autumn. This is one of those moments. So this is also a special festivity, you know. So I think audience who comes to the concert will really feel the Lithuania of nowadays. Who are we now? So, yeah, I invite all and everyone to come and to celebrate music together.